School officials say that they can't go into detail, but stress that all claims are taken seriously. Meanwhile, students gathered this morning and they say that they want more to be done. Yeah. This morning, a group of Granite Bay High School students gathered to protest allegations of sexual misconduct. And we're hoping that we're going to get some change and some that the school's going to take initiative and educate what consent is. Students say that school officials have not addressed victim allegations correctly. Things are being done, but throughout that process, they're making them feel like the victims are at to blame and that they're doing something wrong. And it's becoming like a huge issue and people are scared to speak out because of this. I got the question of what were you wearing? Um, things like that, it, it really... It was hard for me to come forward in general and hearing things like that, it, it was scary. It was scary that even people at school wouldn't believe me. This student whose identity we're protecting says that she reported an incident to a school officer. We could not verify her claims. A spokesperson with the Roseville Joint Union High School District said in a statement that they are not allowed to comment on specific allegations, adding that they will keep working with all parties to address concerns in an effort to make their campuses safe for all students. As for other allegations... There are people being suspended for speaking out right now, so we're, we're hoping something will be done about it. School officials couldn't provide more information. The Placer County Sheriff's Office tells us that their officers are assigned to this school. They also tell us that there is currently an active investigation related to sexual battery at this high school. Both the suspect and the victim are students, and the incident occurred elsewhere. In Granite Bay, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.